everybody hope you're all well I just wanted to chat to you about what we've been doing the last couple of days here so we live in um, Wales as you probably guessed um, and we live in and Wales is a TB area so that's bovine TB and anybody who's got cattle knows the worry that we have to go through when we have our yearly, as it is in our area, TB test. So the vet comes along and injects each cow with um, a control, so I think it's avian TB, and then the bovine TB, just a small amount of the antigen underneath the skin. And then a couple of days later, he comes back, or she comes back, and they measure the reaction to the, to the injections. Now, um, the control is done so that um, if the animal has just had a reaction to the actual needle, then it's got something to compare against. And then the TB then, the bovine TB then, um, if that's the same as the control, then that's fine. If it's less, it's fine. But if it's more, then you've obviously got what they call a reactor. And unfortunately, that means the cow has to be destroyed. Uh, whether that's whether the cow's got a calf inside or whether the cow is showing symptoms of TB or not, it gets destroyed. And the heartbreaking and frustrating case most of the time is when they do the PM, the post-mortem, on the cow, it hasn't got any TB lesions in its lungs. And it all seems like a bit of a, I don't say waste of time, but it's very emotional and needless, it seems, in many cases. Anyway, that's just the way it is, and those are the rules that we have to go by in the UK. And so we've decided to take a couple of measures in order to uh, reduce the risk of any of our cows getting bovine TB. One of those things is not to buy any more cows in. So we've got Bessie and we've got her calf Delilah and we will not be buying any more, car any more cows in. Uh, we will artificially inseminate Bessie and then Delilah when the time comes. Um, so there'll be no incoming cattle to infect our current. Another thing we've decided to do is not to put the cows in any fields where there are bordering farms with cows in those fields. So that only happens on one side of our property. So we just won't put the cows in there so they can't have nose to nose contact with any other cows. The third thing that we've decided to do is to implement fencing that limits or prevents the entry of badgers onto our land or into the cow's fields anyway uh, as badgers are known to be spreaders of bovine TB. So in order to fence for badgers you have to um, use spacings, electric fence, we've, we've chosen to use electric fence and to make the fence badger proof as much as we can uh, we have to space it in a certain way so I'll just show you what we've been doing and the spacings so this is one of the fences as you can see we've got seven strands so the bottom five are metal and then the top two are polycord this one we've just <laughs> We may put another um, strand in there to stop any sheep coming through, if there's any sheep about. Yeah, so when we've used these um, tensioners in order to create a nice tension on the wires. There is also, um, this, this last one is actually a, uh, an, earth, an earth wire. And then they run down then, right down to the bottom there, you can't see to corner insulators which then spur off then on that corner oh. 
So these fencings are, uh, sorry, these spacings are five centimeters, five centimeters, five centimeters, five centimeters. Sorry. <clears throat> We've used these great tea posts here. These were from um, Voss in Germany. So the earth wire goes through the metal tea post. Then we've got a five centimeter wire strand, another five centimeter, another five centimeter, and this is 10 centimeters. And then the top spacings then are for whatever livestock you've got in, which it, in our case is cows. So that's what we've been doing. Um, it's been a lot of walking up and down. It's been a lot of wire on reels. But hopefully it means that Bessie and Delilah have now got a lovely big field with lots of grass that they can come out onto. Because as you can see, they've eaten pretty much all the grass in there and are ready for a new field. So we can give this one a bit of a rest. And right next door is the new growing area. How exciting. I hope that's explained to you a little bit about the TB situation here with us and what we've decided to do to mitigate any risks. Fingers crossed for another free TB free test for us and everybody else who it concerns who's watching. <laughs>